Hello, I'm Yuki Washington from CBS 3 in Philadelphia. Let's start things off with your travel forecast. And here's meteorologist Kate Bilo. Thanks, Yuki. Well, we've got some travel problems that are only going to get worse across the Northeast as yet another March nor'easter bears down on that part of the country. Let's start off there. Philadelphia snow, rain, a wintry mix on and off through the day. Things will get worse through the course of the day. Morning flights should be okay, but visibility concerns will be an issue. Boston and New York, most of the day looks quiet. Things really go downhill late Tuesday night and into Wednesday. DC, same story. We've got a wintry mix rain, sleet and snow and problems back in Cleveland as well. Rain arriving in Raleigh and Atlanta could slow you down. Also thunderstorms in Orlando, but sunshine in New Orleans, Dallas and Houston looking good there. Watch for some rain and an icy mix in Omaha. Delays expected. It's windy in Indianapolis, generally dry in Chicago. Just a few flurries in Minneapolis. 55 with some sunshine in Seattle. Nice day in Phoenix at 80 degrees with sun, but a few showers in San Francisco and Los Angeles. Possibly a few minor slowdowns. Yuki. Okay, thank you. A missing St. Joseph's University rugby player has been found in Bermuda. 19-year-old Mark Dombrowski disappeared early Sunday morning after leaving a bar. The freshman was on the island playing in an international rugby tournament. At this point, police have not said how Dombrowski died. A missing teen is back home in Allentown, but the man she ran away with to Mexico sits in a Miami jail awaiting extradition. U.S. Marshals found 16-year-old Amy Yu and 45-year-old Kevin Esterly in Playa del Carmen on Saturday. Authorities say the pair left Allentown on March 5th. Neighbors expressed relief that Amy was found safe nearly two weeks after her mother reported her missing. I'm glad, obviously, but it's terrifying, and I can't imagine what her mom was going through. With her being missing, it's crazy. Authorities have not charged Esterly with kidnapping because they believe the teen went with him willingly. The married father is facing a felony charge of interference with the custody of a child. Well, we now know where in Pennsylvania the winning $457 million Powerball lottery ticket was purchased. The ticket was picked up at a Speedway gas station on Lancaster Road in Manheim Township, Lancaster County. The drawing was Saturday night, but so far the winner has not come forward. The odds of winning it were 1 in 292.2 million, but somebody got it. And just in case you may have won a smaller prize, here's another look at those winning numbers. 22, 57, 59, 60, 66, and the Powerball, the number 7. It's the eighth largest Powerball jackpot in history. For more news, weather, and sports, go to cbsphilly.com. I'm Yuki Washington. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs>